This is Twit. First, we're going to start with a nice little show and tell of the Pixel 5, which Juan Yay. has in hand to show to us. Yay! Okay, show well, us. hold on. Show us your new toy. I, it, this is the Pixel 5. It's wow. really okay, pretty. Okay, so wait, that's without a case. It's just it's without a case. That's a this so is, that blue. You got the bluish ish yeah, color. It, it, it's you know I I keep wanting to say it's like kind of like um like a like a tea colored or a a, a nice. It's not quite like a turquoise, but. It, it really is nice. I, I make fun of a lot of reviewers. It's like, oh, it feels really nice in the hand. Like that's con- some kind of really insightful gadget review commentary. But it's, it's, it has it's called been hand refreshing. feel. It's called hand feel, Juan. What's the hand feel? <laughs> but it's you know, like yeah, you know, I think we've been a ways from phones that like you know, oh no, it's, it's like sharp edges and it hurts my evolved primate grip. Like I feel like we've kind of gotten over that, but. It's been really refreshing playing with a phone that's not a glass on glass or a shiny plastic trying to look like glass kind of phone. Um, it kind of takes you back where we used to have more material competition for th- what our devices were made out of. But yeah, it's a cute little little phone. And um, I, I got to say, I'm still under kind of an odd embargo where uh, the Team Pixel crew, the hashtag gift from Google people, um, it, it, like uh, w- we can't really talk about like the deep dive performancey stuff. Like I can show you the home screen and I can I can like kind of talk about the build and show you the the phone and how much I love having I a mean, rear Ron fingerprint and I sensor haven't again. Even, like but seen this beyond oh wow kind of some press okay. renders and so okay, I, well, I just want to see it. So this is the Pixel Five and it's nearly the same dimensions, Ron, as a uh, your Pixel Four A. I, I don't know. Ron is my handling Pixel it right now is. in front of his desk. He's showing us the back. It's got this really nice blue. The the G on the back is you know towards the bottom, kind of where we're used to seeing that on the Pixel devices. What color mm-hmm. is that one? I, I forget what they call it. You know, Google always has those cute color names. Well, like, what, what is the color of the G? Is that like the same blue? Oh, no, it, is it a, a black? No, no, no. It's, it's a sort of a silver reflective. I'm just trying okay. to catch it in the light of my uh, of my studio lights here. But, okay. you know, it, it's taking a lot of what I like about Pixel 4a. And, and I mean, until this iPhone 12 announcement, um, I feel like this was – this is probably one of the smaller 5G enabled phones that people can shop. I know. That's, um, yeah, that's I, a good thing I don't know, know about. Yeah, I mean, for your from your commentary or, or people that have been, you know, kind of you know, responding to your show, I feel like we've gotten all of these monster, huge, big, chunky, chunk phones for 5G to handle the extra battery draw for all the extra antennas, and. It's kind of, again, there are just so many things about this where it's refreshing to have another option, a little bit more competition um, in a way that you you, kind of want to have at least another option that you can recommend to people when uh, when they're out shopping a phone. Um, I know my dad. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm I'm sorry. I thought. uh, Listen, sometimes I'm bad with my transitions. I was just going to bring up the stovetop camera on the back and say that's still. You know, so uh, uh, you want to remind us real quick what hardware is there in that little camera section? Of course. So we've got a 12 megapixel uh, main uh, wide shooter and then another uh, 12 megapixel ultra wide. So instead of going with the telephoto like the Pixel 4 had, uh, they're going ultra wide. I've I've been generally fine. Um, My preferred camera is having the ultra wide. I Same. know we've got all these like super fancy space zooms and stuff, but I don't need I, it. I don't know. Yeah, for I get a telescope. I, if I want to look at Saturn, I'll get a telescope. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. But, but 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 don't you find like you know your image integrity falls apart pretty quickly, yeah. and especially in sort of mixed lighting or lower lighting conditions, it just seems to kind of be better cropping from the main sensor anyway. Um, one of the things that I'll be I'll, I'll, I'll be excited to show, which I can't really show right now, but in the coming days when this embargo lifts, 
uh, is this is a 765, a Snapdragon 765, and this is one of the only phones that I know of with a 765 that can shoot 4K at 60 frames per second. So it definitely seems like over last year where the the main focus was still photography and uh, using a tripod for astrophotography that Google is kind of circling back to some of the criticisms people had about improving the video quality on pixels. And um, I, I think from the Pixel 4a to, to here, it's definitely a step up. Like I've been shooting vlogs on the Pixel 4a and the 30 frame per second 4K looks phenomenal. Dang. So I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm really excited to be playing with the uh, Pixel 5 for something similar. But more than anything else, it's just kind of nice to have an option here where we're um, you know I, I know there's going to be a, a an Android commentary where because a Galaxy S20 FE exists, no one should buy anything else. Um, but I want options. I want a little roadster phone. I want a big, heavy diesel truck phone. I want, you know, different solutions for different consumers. And mm -hmm. I still feel like Google is making one of the best plays for software services and communicator yeah. devices. And if, if you're wanting that streamlined approach, you're not looking to replace a laptop with your phone, then I need a good option to recommend for that kind of consumer.